Finn Hearts Update, brought to you by Donegal Daily and Donegal Sport Hub, in association with Kelly Centre, Martin Top, Letter Kenny. Holly, disappointed with the defeat, I'm sure. Yeah, disappointed. Any time you lose, um, okay, we, we probably didn't do enough. Although up to the goal, there was very little in it, Charlie. It wasn't a great game of football. There was a little bit of tit for tat, and you know neither keeper had a whole lot to do. Um, we were comfortable without ever really threatening them to put it that way to you. When they scored, the game opened up, and probably they had the better chances because we had to push, yeah. and, and they hit us on the counter. Uh, the likes of Walter there and 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 and, and Gibson on, on on the sides causes a lot of bother on the counter, and probably they feel maybe they should have gone and got a second, but. You know, the first goal was always going to be crucial. Unfortunately, we didn't get it tonight. Yeah, disappointing. Mark Anthony's been fantastic so far this season, but goalkeepers just can't make mistakes, as we've seen already in Harps games. Yeah, look, we, we've we've won a few games. Uh, you know, especially the Bowes game with a mistake, and 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 the Dundalk game. And look, we you know the way you look at it is that the Bowes game might have been a draw had they not made a mistake. Tonight might have been a draw if Mark Anthony had made a mistake, and we'd be sitting with a point less. Uh, you know, we didn't we didn't go given Mark Anthony huge praise for getting us over the line in the last couple of weeks so we're not going to be hugely you know d despondent and down, downbeat on him um, where, where he did make a mistake yeah it was poor management and he knows that himself better than anyone but no better man to bounce back and and, 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 and try and, and try and pick up the pieces and, and as you said having managed against the Brees so well and contained them so well it was disappointing to give away goals so early in the second half then. Yeah, as I said, there was nothing in the game. First half, there was nothing in it. Uh, Parks had a chance, all right, uh, with the wind, yeah. with the with the route one ball over the top. Other than that, there was very little in it. Um, I felt the start, the second half, we were quite comfortable, and just the the, the, the back pass that Mark Anthony didn't deal with it. But we took a cut off it afterwards. Did we do enough to get a result back? Obviously not. You know, we didn't tr trouble it McGinty as as well as what we should have done. But first goals are crucial at this level and it takes a savage effort to turn it around. Now we did it last week, albeit at home in the ninety third minute. So, you know, we, we need to we need to try and, and pick up the pieces and, and scrape something out of the next couple of games or else you know, we'll 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 struggle as we've done before. Yeah, is it a good thing the Longford game's coming so quickly, Ollie? Oh jeez, only time will tell there, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, You're look, sitting thinking about this for a full week. No, no, we move on, Charlie. We've, we've always moved on. We always move on. We lose a draw, you know, very, very quickly. You got to in this league. You've 36 games that come around, you know, two in a week this week and two in a week and three weeks. Um, it'll be very difficult down the Longford. We've had huge difficulty down there over the years in both divisions. Any team that has lost in the 93rd minute in Tala, that's a serious sight and you know they, they, they Derry, Derry found that out a couple of weeks ago in Langford and we need to be at it on Tuesday night to get anything out of the Charlie and the, you know they as I said to you we feel that Langford and ourselves will be very near each other in the table wherever that may be yeah you shuffle the pack quite a lot in the second half all these fresh legs coming on is that a view you'll be looking at for Tuesday night as well possibly possibly Charlie yeah um, I thought I thought we 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 made we made substitutions. We, we you know we tried to, to huff and puff a little a little bit. The lads did quite well. They came on to be fair to them. Like we didn't play all that bad, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, you know, time zone here we've got annihilated and scraped out draws. You know, tonight we 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 there was very little in it, but you can see the little bit of quality that Sligo have when the game opened up and when we had to come out, and they kept it very well and countered very well, and that's that's why they're top of the table to be yeah, fair. And as you say, offensively very dangerous on the wide position. Yeah, although we dealt with it in the law, you know, we they, they didn't get in behind us too often at, at, at up to whatever minute they go, go within the 50, whatever minute it was. Uh, it was after that when we had to get up the pitch that they, they played on the counter and they, they're very good at that, to be fair to them. And, you know, I'd say they have high expectations here and why wouldn't they? Onwards to Tuesday night. Yeah, please God, Charlie. The Finn Hearts Update, brought to you by Donegal Daily and Donegal Sport Hub, in association with Kelly Centre, Mountain Top, Letter Kenny.